Welcome to this tutorial on importing video files into Video Studio. The first leg of your editing journey is importing, so let's go over some of the tips and tricks that make the trip easier. So you shot video footage to your camcorder, camera, or smartphone as your tour bust around San Francisco. The first step is to plug the device to your computer and follow the instructions provided with that device for transferring files. In this example, I'm going to be taking footage that I shot with my smartphone. To do this, I've plugged the phone into the computer, and Windows will detect the device and allow me to open the folder and view the files. If it's your first time connecting to the device to the computer, you will likely be prompted that Windows is installing the drivers before you'll see the menu. Copy the files from the device to the computer. In this example, I'll create a folder called Video Project and copy the video files to this folder. When the files have finished copying, you can eject and disconnect the device. You now have your footage on your computer. Most of your video footage taken these days is stored on devices in the form of video files called MPEGs, MPEG-4s, AVIs, and MOV files. There are many more, but these four should serve most purposes. With these files on hand, you can launch Video Studio. Video Studio launches in the Edit workspace as a default, which features an organizing bin called the Clip Bin for your footage. So fetch your files by clicking on the folder icon and then browsing to the file location. You can switch to the Capture workspace if you're bringing in video from a DVD or a webcam. This is also the area of the program for creating a stop-motion video or a screen capture, but we'll go into those in further detail in later tutorials. Now, if you have a webcam or a video camera connected to the computer and turned on, the Capture Video button will allow you to record directly into Video Studio from one of these devices. Over here, DV Quick Scan imports video from many DV cameras. Import digital media can be used to either capture from a non-copy protected DVD or Blu-ray disc, or from a Video TS folder. That's a folder on a DVD with the video files. Remember, when you import from a DVD, you can choose to import the entire thing or select specific chapters. Let's click back on the Edit workspace. So we've arrived at our destination. With your files imported, they'll appear in Video Studio and you'll be able to start editing them in the Edit workspace. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to import video files into Video Studio.